A major investment tonight in the fight against homelessness in L.A. Shelters, services, and emergency housing. Yeah, Chris, it's just part of a $1 billion plan announced by the mayor in his state of the city. KKL9 political reporter Tom Wade is live in Venice, where residents are constantly reminded of the problem. Tom? That's absolutely right, Pat. Good evening to you and Chris. Well, tonight the mayor delivered this address, and as you said, he is going to spend a lot more money and resources on the homeless issue. It's heartbreaking, it's devastating, and it is frustrating. Venice residents, as you can see just behind me, are, are also in the throes of dealing with so much in terms of the homeless issue here. You can see the tent encampment behind me on the boardwalk where many of them are growing. There's real hope on the horizon. Tonight, L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti sounding a tone of optimism during his annual State of the City address. Among the many topics he covered, the homeless crisis and made this announcement. So today I'm announcing that for the first time ever, with the new money our budget is investing, we will dedicate nearly one billion dollars towards ending homelessness. With the crisis growing and pressure mounting on local, state and county leaders to make inroads, the mayor promised continued resolve. Ending homelessness is tough, tough work. It's not for the faint of heart, but our investments are building a movement and building our capacity to improve the lives of our unhoused neighbors. You're harassing me. On social media, people are posting videos like this of confrontations in and around tent camps. These scenes played out in Venice, where encampments appear to be growing. But homelessness is hardly an issue confined to Venice. It's a crisis that spills into every corner of the city and county. Mayor is a brilliant orator. Reverend Andy Bales runs the Union Rescue Mission in Skid Row and is one of the leading voices in solving the homeless crisis. Reverend Bales says the mayor may have good intentions right now, but the strategy is not working and he wanted to hear more tonight in the speech about concrete solutions. Covered a lot of subjects, but I felt the time on homelessness was not sufficient to the level of the disaster that we're in. Bale says the city should be buying up land and buying trailers or tiny houses, solutions that are more economically viable and will take less time. We have to move away from this slow to develop, very expensive units. This plan to spend a huge amount of money per person is going to cause thousands upon thousands of people to die on the streets. And in these very expensive units, alcohol and drugs has been flowing freely and in my opinion, we need to move back to a more recovery model. The issue has become so volatile, confrontations like this one broke out when police clashed with protesters after the city ordered Echo Park cleared out. A tent city there became the flashpoint. Mayor Garcetti says outreach is the key to helping unhoused people. Since 2013, the number of city-funded outreach workers has grown by 1,000 percent, from just 11 to more than 120 people today. We helped 8,000 additional people this past year get into shelters and hotels through Project Room Key. Earlier this month, an L.A. city councilman asked the city to examine whether it can install temporary housing for the homeless in several coastal communities, including Pacific Palisades and Venice. Nearly 15,000 people have signed a petition opposing the idea. Mark Berger has lived in the Santa Monica, Venice area for 25 years. I don't know what it's going to cost to fix it. I know it could take a lot of money. But, uh, you know, this is, there, L.A. is a rich place. There, I think there are resources here that could be applied. Berger says with the change in how people work, many unused office spaces could be considered. I think a lot of office space is, is going to go empty now. Why can't that be utilized? And who knows, as the pandemic winds down, that may be an option. As of the last count, there were 66,000 unhoused people in both L.A. and the city of L.A. and L.A. County. That's combined. Reporting live in Venice, I'm Tom Wade, KCAL 9 News. Thanks, Tom.